Okay, today I want to show you how to uh, add a web font to your website. Uh, these will be self-hosted web fonts. Uh, there's a couple different ways you can change fonts. Uh, you use web fonts particularly because you want a different font that most users won't have on their computer and if they don't have the font on their computer it's not going to display. Right, it's going to use some sort of default font that their computer does have to display it, like sans, sans serif, or something like that. Uh, but anyhow, we're going. There's two ways you can change your fonts using web fonts. One, you know, we're going to be using Google Fonts and Font Squirrel uh, to do this today. But uh, if you go to Google Fonts, you can select the font you want. They'll provide you uh, some CSS code and some JavaScript. Put your website and they will host the font for you or you can download the font uh, add them to your uh, directory on your website and when you upload your website it will upload to your server i prefer that method over having another website host my font because if that other website goes down obviously the font's not going to display another reason is you notice if you ever go to other websites or download google ads and uh they're Facebook and various other things it causes the page to load a little slow when you're pulling stuff in to your website from other servers so I prefer to you know host my own fonts so that's what we're going to do here I'm going to show you how to change that word check right up here to a font called Serena uh, so first thing we want to do is we want to go to Google fonts and get the font so let me do that real quick and we will type it here there we go I'm going to go ahead and add this to my collection and then up here you see you can download your collection and I'm going to download as a zip file here and we're going to create the folder where my website is located so that way when I upload it it will upload as well I have my website on the uh, XAMPP Apache web server on my computer for testing purposes. So it's in HT Docs here. Find is there it is. Assets. I'm gonna put it in my asset folder. A new folder called fonts. Whoops. I like to keep everything in small letters. And another new folder called Serena. S A R I N A. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and save that. And we're going to go back to that folder because we've got to unzip it. Unz okay, we're going to unzip it. And let's go ahead and delete this. And we now have a Serena folder here. Now you see we have here the true type font, TTF. This one here, we're going to go to Font Squirrel, and we're going to use our font generator at Font Face Generator to convert it to three or four other fonts that Dreamweaver is going to use because other browsers, you know, it's it's going to select the fonts for various types of browsers. So let me go there, and if you notice here, we got the at Font Generator. I mean, a Font Face Generator. So I'm going to go ahead and upload this. Go back to uh, my computer. Into my server here. And we'll get the true type font. We want to upload that. And you have to check the box that these are legal. And yes, the fonts you get from Google Web Fonts are legal to do this with. On download is going to take a little bit to download here it has to convert that true type font to I think it's three other types of three maybe four other types of fonts I don't recall right off the top of my head but we'll just wait a minute here okay now that we have it downloaded I want to save that again in the font folder that I had created in my uh, created in my uh, website folder here I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this string here because I don't want that long number at the end. Just save it as a WebKit zip. And then we're going to go here 
and we're going to go ahead and let's refresh this there it is excuse me and we'll open that and we'll go ahead and extract it okay we now have our web font kit let me delete this one let's go ahead and delete this one because I don't really need any of them and because I like to keep stuff cleaned up I tend to delete a lot of stuff so I want to get all my fonts I don't need the HTML the text or that file I will keep that file in there uh, we're gonna go ahead and pull all this out and we're gonna put it in here put it to my main alright so now we got all of our fonts located exactly where I want it on here Go to Dreamweaver, we're going to style this particular word. Okay, we're going to create a new style. We're going to make it an HTML uh, class that can apply to any HTML element. I'm going to call this Serena font so it'll be easy to locate. I have it targeting my main CSS that I'm going to be using. Instead of creating a new style sheet, I want to keep all my CSS in the same sheet. So we got OK. I don't want to use the fonts that are already available. I want to use my new font. Now these are what's on your computer here. You can also use these here if you want. But those most likely are not going to be on anybody else's computer. These most likely will be on everybody else's computer. So, But what I want to do is I want to do web font. I'm going to add a font. I'm going to look for the EOT font here. And uh, go to my assets folder. Fonts. Serena. And right here we have the uh, Serena regular web font EOT. That's what I want. Now, when I selected that, it recognized the other three fonts. So it was three. And it pulled them all for us, all in one shot. So I'm going to check. I have properly licensed the above font. Just click OK. And click Done. And click OK. Go ahead and put this in the list and click OK. I'm not going to apply anything because I haven't selected the word check yet so we're about to do that. Okay and now we're going to go ahead and change the font right here. And I'm targeting the H1 tag. If you'll notice down here I have the H1 tag being targeted. So I'm going to select from the list. And if you'll notice it changed a little bit. So let's take a look see what happened. See there it is. It changed the font for me. Go ahead and turn that off because it's not quite big enough. I want to go ahead and change the size. Now the size that I want is not listed here. I want it to be 96. Uh, I know that because I've already done this once. So I'm just going through it again for this video. So I'll just go ahead and enter that. 96. Enter. And it's now you see it's gotten quite a bit bigger. Now let's take a look and see how it actually looks. And there's the look I was going for. This is a fairly easy to do. You host your own web files. You don't have to worry about someone else's server. You don't have to worry about the extra load time it causes to pull that from someone else's server. And uh, anybody that comes to your website will be able to see them because you're hosting the web font for their browser to look at. And I hope this helps someone. And I just want to let you know that I have other videos, other free uh, video tutorials on Photoshop CS6, uh, Illustrator CS6, Dreamweaver CS6, and a few other things at my blog and just some uh, enjoyable reading there as well. So I invite you to go to uh, SkeeterZ71.com, that's SkeeterZ71.com, all one word, and take a look, see what I got, and have a good day.